Hey guys, welcome back. So today I'm going to review the Beauty and the Beast palette from Lorac Cosmetics. It's their Tale as Old as Time palette right here, their eyeshadow palette. So if you would like to see how the product performs on the eyes and my thoughts, then please keep watching. All right, so when you open it up, it has this little like flap right here. You undo it. It has a mirror. It even has like this little uh, ribbon that makes it look like, you know, a book holder. And then these are the shades that come with it. You get some really pretty shades. There's some transition shades, some pretty cool tone shades, warm tone shades. It also comes with a brush, which is pretty. Nice gold brush with two sides. I purchased this from Nordstrom Rack. I think they still have it online. I'm not sure. If they do, I will link it down below in the description box. But I purchased it from Nordstrom Rack because this is a limited edition palette. It's not available anymore. But it was on sale for about $22, something like that. I think $22 to $25. I think it's normally around $50. So it's about half off, which is really good. <laughs> one of my favorite Disney movies is Beauty and the Beast, the original, the animated one. The new one with um, Emma Watson was also good, but I, I think I prefer the animated one just because it's like the original, the classic from my childhood. Beauty and the Beast and Lion King are my favorite Disney movies. When I saw that Lorac was having, or Lorac, I'm not sure how you pronounce it. Is it Lorac or Lorac? I don't know. But when I saw that they were having a collab with Beauty and the Beast, I was really interested in getting the palette. And then it was really nice to get it on sale, you know? There's names called Timekeeper, Our Guest. Beast mode, my castle, chip in for chip, romance, TikTok, tea time. It's it's really fun. There's some really fun names in here. I'm gonna use some tart shape tape for my primer. Just to speed this up, this eye look. I'm just gonna point in the shadows but have music on, you know? Okay, so this is the finished look on my eyes using the Lorac Cosmetic Tale as Old as Time Beauty and the Beast palette right here. So my thoughts on this palette, I think that in general Lorac, 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 Lorac has a good formula for their eyeshadows. Their shadows in general are very creamy and pigmented and they blend really easily. Their mattes are really good in my opinion. They just blend really easily. After swatching the palette, the only shade that I noticed that I have a problem with is this pink shimmer shade on the bottom called Real You. It's just not very pigmented and it's kind of chalky and powdery and doesn't really have any pigmentation to it. But everything else swatches really nicely and works really well. So that's the only one that I don't I don't like. But that's okay because you get 16 shadows in here, which is pretty good, and a brush. And I think the packaging is so pretty. This is definitely like one of those palettes that you're gonna wanna keep like in your collection just to, you know, collect, especially if you really like makeup and Disney. <laughs> as far as the shades go, I think you get a nice variety of shades but they're definitely more like neutral wearable shades not really anything out there the only shades that are a little bit different that are you could have a little bit more fun with are like this blue called beast mode it's just a matte navy blue other than that there's not really any pops of color everything's more neutral so depending on what you like I like neutral palettes but then I also like 
more bold colorful palettes it just depends on what I'm in the mood for what I want to wear that day so it just depends on what your preference is if you only like really bold palettes with a lot of colors then you're not gonna like this because they're basically all neutrals but if you like neutrals you can get a lot of different looks out of it I think the formula is really nice the brush is nice it's a soft brush and I just really like the packaging i think it's so pretty it looks like a book from beauty and the beast so i hope you guys enjoyed this video let me know in the comments if you've tried this palette and what your favorite disney movie is <laughs> so i hope you guys have a great day and i'll see you next time bye